Get ready to witness the ultimate revolution in the electric vehicle world, because the master of innovation, Elon Musk, has just unleashed a new Tesla engine that's set to wreak havoc on the competition. In a stunning announcement at Tesla's 2023 Investor Day on March 1st, the company revealed that the next generation of their PMSM traction motors will no longer be using rare earth permanent magnet. But here's the kicker. What are the reasons behind this decision? What sort of permanent magnets will they be using? And how do they compare to their rare earth counterparts in terms of efficiency, durability, and sustainability? And most importantly, how will this revolutionary new engine impact the EV industry? And what implications does it have for the future of electric transportation? Join us as we dive headfirst into this electrifying world of Tesla's new engine and uncover the secrets behind its groundbreaking design. Let's begin. Tesla's latest move to eliminate rare earths from their upcoming models has created quite a stir in the industry. However, this decision not only highlights the company's efforts to cut costs, but also urges international efforts to find replacements for electric car motors that rely on rare earths. In their upcoming drive unit, Tesla plans to use a permanent magnet motor that uses no materials, according to Colin, the vice president of powertrain engineering. In fact, Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y powertrainers have already reduced the consumption of heavy rare earths by a quarter. During the company's investor day, Campbell emphasized that they want to stay away from procedures that pose risks to the environment and human health and rely less on products that are subject to extreme price changes due to China's tight control over the supply chain. Rare earths are used in magnets in almost everything from phones to wind turbines and fighter jets, making them a significant concern for the renewable energy industry and automakers. However, about two-thirds of the mining and 85% of the processing of rare earth minerals are done in China which exposes the industry to volatile costs and potential supply chain disruptions. For instance, in 2010, prices skyrocketed following China's decision to cut exports, and in 2019 and 2020, there were concerns that China might impose export restrictions due to trade concerns with the US. Now, major automakers including BMW, Toyota, and General Motors are trying to reduce their reliance on rare earth minerals, with companies such as JC Mag Rare Earth Company Limited and Jingsu Wahong Technology Stock Company, the largest producer of the mineral outside of China. Linus Rare Earth Limited has seen its share price drop by almost a quarter this month, and shares of other producers also fell after Campbell's remarks. According to Nils Backberg, founder of the London-based consultancy Project Blue. The lack of diversification in supply chains for rare earth permanent magnets is a major concern for the industry, as people are expected to use less expensive but less efficient technology. The geopolitics of critical materials becomes even more crucial. Ferrite magnets, which are made of iron and alloyed with components like barium and strontium, are more readily available and less expensive than rare earth magnets. William Roberts, a senior research analyst at the London-based consultancy Rowmotion, suggests that ferrite magnets are a viable alternative. GM has utilized them in the past, and ProReal Limited, a Japanese company, announced in December that it had created a motor utilizing ferrite magnets that was on par with rare earth component performance. Nyron Magnetics Incorporated, a company that was awarded a $17.5 million US Department of Energy grant last year to support its development on rare earth free magnets that use iron nitrate based technology, has teamed up with Volvo Cars. A potential substitute for rare earth magnets is Tetrayanid, which is studied by a team from the University of Cambridge and partners in Austria. Now, it looks like Tesla is going to use ferrite magnets in their new engine, but there are difficulties with the technology, as it's typically had a significant weight or efficiency penalty. The efficiency of current rate earth based motor systems is also well known, and they're predicted to drive up demand for the element, with rare earth oxides expected to be used in applications associated with the energy transition 
for around $3.8 billion in 2022. Atomist Intelligence Incorporated predicts that amount will increase to more than $36 billion in 2035. Although ferrite-powered PMSMs can perform equally well or better than an equivalent-powered neodymium, this performance comes with a sizable weight or efficiency penalty, historically making the move undesirable. One of the latest developments in motor technology is a novel motor designed by Proterial. This design features ferrite magnets, which are an alternative to the traditional neodymium magnets. The Proterial motor design boasts matching output and maximum rotation speed to comparable neodymium magnet-powered motors. However, it's 30% heavier. Proterial has also simulated an electric vehicle traction motor with ferrite magnets that match the output and motor weight of a similar motor with neodymium magnets, but rotates at 50% faster speed, resulting in a lower torque. While this new motor concept is being justified based on anticipated supply security and environmental and health risks, Tesla has long focused on maximizing the cost performance balance where neodymium magnet-powered motors shine. The rare earth business, frequently referred to as the contradictory poster child of electromobility and clean energy, has a significant impact on the environment and human health. However, with more supply choices available today, beyond just China and Myanmar, and several newcomers to the rare earth magnet recycling industry, there are more environmentally friendly options available. Some of these options could provide the rare earths that are the most environmentally friendly in the world. While the environmental impact of a ferrite motor may be greater than that of a neodymium magnet motor, the environmental benefits may be minimal to non-existent if Tesla's new motor design is in fact based on ferrite. This is because according to a study, even though the China-made neodymium magnet has a higher environmental impact than the ferrite magnet in terms of mass-based magnet-only comparison, the neodymium magnet-powered motor has smaller impacts in all categories because of the reduced weight of the magnet combined with the smaller weight of the copper wires and steel in the assembly. Currently, the top three motor technology options employed in the electric vehicle market are permanent magnet motors, induction motors, and wound rotor motors. These options are distinguished by the design of the rotor and the material used. Hitachi Metals has developed a new type of magnet with lower dysprosium content than traditional neodymium magnets without compromising on their high temperature coercivity. The key to their development is a novel process that diffuses dysprosium into the magnet material instead of directly alloying it, resulting in a high performance material. The use of the repurposed rare earth components, such as neodymium and dysprosium, has been a key area of research despite concerns around the quality and repeatability of recovered magnetic materials. There's been extensive research on producing magnetic materials without neodymium and dysprosium. Although there are rumors of new high-performance magnetic materials, such as iron nitride and manganese-based compounds, it remains unclear how useful or close to the market they are, and commercialization is likely to take several years, even with major advancements. Some lower-performing magnetic materials created before neodymium magnets are being considered due to their low-cost and improved supply security, such as aluminum-nickel-cobalt magnets. Ferrite magnets, the most basic type of magnet, are a type of ceramic magnet with ferromagnetic characteristics, making them permanent magnets. They're made by calcing a combination of iron oxide and strontium, or barium carbonate, high temperatures to create a metallic oxide, which is then ground into tiny particles. Ferrite magnets are commonly used in electric motors and generators due to their high intrinsic coercivity, which makes them resistant to demagnetization from external magnetic fields or other magnets. Strontium ferrite has better magnetic characteristics than barium ferrite, and both contain the hexagonal ferrite structure. Improving the coercivity of aluminum nickel cobalt magnets is the main focus of research at Ames University in the US. However, while these magnets have high remnant flux densities, their low coercivity means that they have a significant danger of demagnetization, 
making them unsuitable for use in electrical machines with high power densities. While researchers have been working on producing magnetic materials without neodymium and dysprosium, there are rumors of new high-performance magnetic materials, such as iron nitride and manganese-based compounds, but it remains unclear how useful or close to the market they are. In the meantime, some lower-performing magnetic materials created before neodymium magnets are being considered, such as aluminum-nickel-cobalt magnets, due to their low cost and improved supply security. For those not in the know, ferrite magnets are the most basic type of magnet commonly used in electric motors and generators due to their high intrinsic coercivity. They're made by calcining a combination of iron oxide and strontium or barium carbonate at high temperatures to create a metallic oxide, which is then ground into tiny particles. Strontium ferrite has better magnetic characteristics than barium ferrite, and both contain the hexagonal ferrite structure. It's important to note that while improving the coercivity of aluminum nickel cobalt magnets is the main focus of research at Ames University in the US, these magnets have a significant danger of demagnetization due to their low coercivity, making them unsuitable for use in electrical machines with high power densities. Despite these advancements, challenges remain, particularly in terms of balancing performance, cost, and sustainability. However, the continued pursuit of innovative solutions in this field holds promise for a more efficient and sustainable future. So what are your thoughts about Tesla's new and revolutionary engine? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. And if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.